Let's start in the 1990. Extend both arms on the side of the bottom front leg and push on your fingertips to create some tension around the shoulder area. You're gonna bring your elbow down and perform a fetus roll while trying to keep your legs the same. That is, both knees pointing towards the floor. From there, we're gonna try to swing our arms overhead, keeping our hands on the floor from one foot to the other, enjoying the stretch in the process and then come back up after a couple of reps on the other side and perform the same. Push on your fingertips, create some tension, hold it there for five to 10 seconds. Then keep both knees facing the right side in that case and start sliding your hands. You can repeat that little routine a few times, adapt it with other movements you know, and use that time to pay attention to the subtle details that you are experiencing in your sensations today. It is usually a great idea when we are performing easier movements at the beginning of a training session to notice the subtle nuances in our body feedback and sensations and our relationship with the floor. This helps us improve the way we move on the floor later on as we complexify the movements we are executing. From a squat, you're gonna bring one hand at a time on the floor and push yourself back into this anchoring position. We are trying here to be as soft as possible in the way we receive the floor and push ourselves away from it. So you want to make sure that you are rolling the fingers down as you land, using your elbow to absorb some of the shock wave and timing properly what your hips are doing with the pushing hand as you go back into your squat. You may want to spice things up by bringing your hands further away from your feet and adding more momentum. Keeping both hands on the floor, we're gonna bend slightly and extend both elbows for 10 times and then rotate the elbow pits forward and backwards, trying to lock the elbows as you are bringing the elbow pits forward and bring the shoulder blades together and away from each other as you perform that motion. From there, you can bring your butt between your heels, trying to have both heels facing up towards the ceiling and your butt sitting in between them. The goal here is to gently prep the toes. So we're gonna load the toes by performing small bounces with our pelvis for 10 to 20 reps. This arguably is not the best feeling in the world, but it's a good prep for acrobatic movements. From there, you can push yourself back into a squat and back down into a kneeling position, trying to bring both knees simultaneously on the floor and controlling the descent. If this is too hard, you can absolutely grab a support with one arm, a couch or here on the screen, a bar and perform the same. The next part of the warm up is about our beloved tripod. From the squat position, we are going to transition into our tripod on both sides. Remember that the tripod is a very important gate or anchoring position in our floor methodology and that to perform it properly, you really want to ensure that your butt is sitting over the heel of the bent leg. In that grounded position, you should be able to release your arms and swap the hand that is finding the floor. Try to find a flow from one side to the other and to release any unnecessary tension as you transition from one gait to the other. You can also start adding movement while trying to keep the quality of your landing and pushing with your hands. We are then going to add some rotation into our tripod. And for that, having watched the carousel tutorial would really help. Starting from the squat, push on one hand and shoot the knees 
the other direction, trying to sit on the heel of the pushing hand. If you keep your feet exactly where they are and allow the front leg to drop on the side, you should end up intertwining the legs around each other and end up in a tripod in which the front leg is a bit more bent. Again, if this doesn't make sense, go back to the carousel tutorial and come back to this video. What you want to be able to achieve at that stage of your journey is a flow between one side and the other, starting from a squat, pushing into a tripod, going back into a squat and pushing into a tripod the other direction. Assuming that you know what an s role is, and if you don't, of course, you will find all the resources in your platform. Try to create a loop from a squat into your carousel, finishing up in an s role and back into your squat again. This is a very useful combination that will teach you how to manage properly the momentum out of the carousel. Keep in mind that you want to be transitioning into your s role without marking any pause and that you want to have performed that transition before you lose balance in your carousel. Now let's see how to get into this transition. From the 1990, which is yet another anchoring position of our methodology, we want to see first that the back leg is the top leg and that the front leg is the bottom leg. We are going to refer to those as the air and ground leg. So from that position, we are going to bring the back top leg over the knee of the front bottom leg and push on our hand and both feet to raise the pelvis off the floor. Take your time trying to make sense out of this transition, going very slowly and trying to reverse it as you come back down to the floor, back into your 1990. From the top position, we are going to swap hands and allow the pelvis to travel accordingly. So pushing on our hand and both feet, we are going to swap hand and realize that the bent leg in the top position is the one we can sit on and find ourselves in a tripod again. So really ensure as you're pushing yourself up that the pelvis stays over the heel of the foot of the bent leg. Again, we're swapping the legs, pushing, raising the pelvis off the floor, swapping hands and eventually fall into your tripod. As usual, once you get the gist of this transition, you want to be able to perform it without any bump, without any drop, without any interruption, and even accelerating the pace. And that's all for today, friends. I hope you enjoyed that first part. The next will be uploaded soon on YouTube. But meanwhile, consider the membership where I post all the tutorials as well as many other exclusive resources for a very affordable price. The link is in the description and I hope to see you there.